this is Randy with AGM. In this video, we're gonna be talking about our Sidewinder Thermal Monocular Series. We like to refer to these as some of our premium thermal handheld devices. We introduced these sometime in the spring of 2023, but to really understand why these are a premium handheld device, a good place to start would be for us to compare this to some of our other options, and we'll go from there. So one fair comparison that we could probably do is to compare the Sidewinder series with our successful Taipan series. Outside of the obvious size and form uh, difference between the two, there is a little bit of uh, construction makeup that's worth mentioning. The Taipan series, for example, is made with a polymer uh, constructed body and whereas the Sidewinder series is made of an aluminum body with a rubber overmold. The rubber overmold serves a bunch of functions, but essentially it's, it's a more rugged housing built for more rugged use. The Sidewinder also has an IP67 waterproof rating. So for those of you that are in more moist conditions, especially if you're more south or back east where it rains a lot more, um, the the Sidewinder is just going to be essentially a better choice if you're looking for a monocular that you can take in lots of adverse weather conditions without having any issues at all, something that can kind of stand up to abuse over a long period of time. This is where the Sidewinder is going to stand out for you. Now, another key difference between the Taipan and the Sidewinder is going to be in the ergonomics of the button layout, as well as a few other features on the outside that I'd like to talk about. So for one, the Sidewinder series has an interesting and unique button molding shape for each button in a line. Why that matters to you or why that might be important is because that means each button has its own unique tactile feel. And when you're out doing stuff in the middle of the night, if you're out hunting, often there are no lights around. And especially if you have gloved hands, it can be kind of difficult if you just grab this out of your pack, out of your pocket, to know what, what buttons your fingers are resting on. But Having each button have its own unique feel helps you memorize which buttons are where, and it will help you activate the various functions of the device a lot easier in the dark. Some of the other features, externally speaking, are an improved uh, front cap. So the Sidewinder series has a really good rugged front cap that folds and clicks out of the way like so. Uh, it also clips into place and it's just a better cap design than some of our other models have had. You also have rear eyepiece focus and then front focus knobs that are both rubber over molded, very tactile and easy to maneuver. Another big improvement over the Taipan series is that the Sidewinder series has an external battery. So with the Sidewinder series, you have this removable and rechargeable 18650 battery. That's a big deal for a lot of guys, uh, especially if you're gonna be out for long periods of time. If you're running the Taipans and you're used to, to these models, you'll notice that you have to charge them up independently and the charge might take a few hours depending on where the life of the battery is. But then when that battery dies in the field, it's essentially dead, right? So, so usually the battery life is enough to get you, you know, active all night long. But if you're doing a lot of hunting or if you forget to charge your battery, the Sidewinder series having a removable 18650 battery is a huge plus. It gives you about seven hours of battery life. And with that, if it does die in the field, you get two of them in the box. So if it does die in the field, you could just swap it out. You could also buy extra batteries. It's quite a common battery within the thermal market just the industry as a whole. So you could buy extras, keep them in your pocket, keep them in your pack or whatever. And then if your battery dies, you've got a battery that you could swap out on the go. Now, internally speaking, the Sidewinder is different from a lot of the other handhelds that we have because we offer it in 384 or 640 resolution. So there aren't currently any 256 or lower resolution options for the Sidewinder series. You're basically stuck between choosing some of the more premium resolutions. Now, with that being said, each of them also has a 12 micron sensor. And then above that, they have a sub 20 millikelvin sensor. So why that sub 20 millikelvin sensor is kind of an interesting thing that you need to pay attention to, because it is because that is the device's ability to detect smaller temperature variations. What that means for, for like the regular guy is basically more detail. So if you take, for example, the 
Rattler in this case, a 35 millimeter lensed Rattler, 640 resolution, 12 micron, with the identical 35 millimeter, 640, 12 micron Sidewinder. The difference is that the Sidewinder has a sub 20 millikelvin sensor. And we'll show you the, what that difference can equate to. Essentially, you can basically see and you can tell that with the Sidewinder, you get more detail. So you're gonna get more leaves, you're gonna get more blades of grass, you're gonna get more detail and just a better image quality with this handheld device than some of the other optics that we have to choose from. On top of all of those internal features, another one worth mentioning is the onboard memory. 64 gigabytes of onboard memory with the Sidewinder series. That might not seem like a lot in the world of cell phones and, and how we think of memory today, but if you think about the size of the video files that are stored when you're recording on this device, you're really only talking about videos that have a 384 or 640 resolution size. Videos of that nature are incredibly small. So what that essentially means means is that if you're running the Sidewinder and you're recording your activities at night, you're gonna get multiple days worth of recording before this thing fills up. You're gonna have more than enough space on this thing to record all your hunting adventures. Another thing worth mentioning is that there are some things that carry over with the Sidewinder series. The internal function, for example, is gonna look very similar to our scope line as well as our other monocular lines. So you're still going to get your four color palettes to choose from. You'll get black hot, white hot, red hot, and fusion. You'll have all of the same color palettes, you'll have all of the same contrast and brightness settings, and any of the other things that you wanna do to kind of personalize the monocular for your needs. So with the Sidewinder series, you essentially have a 25 millimeter in 384, 35, 384, 35, 640, and 50, 640. The difference between each of these is really gonna come down to image quality and your base magnification. And the price point is just going to vary depending on if you're gonna want something on the lower end or something on the high end. Why you might be interested in picking up a Sidewinder monocular is really just gonna come down to how much image quality you want from a thermal handheld device. Keep in mind, when a lot of people go out and they go, hunting, they learn really quickly that they do kind of need a thermal monocular to spot, to at least hand a buddy, to be able to scan the environment easily without getting fatigued from being on your rifle, looking left and right. It's a lot easier if you're just carrying a monocular. So these are fantastic for that. They can go into your pack. They have a lanyard to go around your wrist. You can carry them every time you're going out at night. So if you're someone who wants that higher image capability with a thermal handheld device, the Sidewinder series is fantastic for that. All right guys, so that is the Sidewinder thermal monoculars. Obviously there's a lot more information than this to digest. So if you want to, if you have any questions, you can leave a comment. You can also just go online at agmglobalvision.com, learn more about the Sidewinder there. We'll see you next time.